No, I Thank appreciate you. the sentiments. Uh, and last, I think we have uh, Tim Hofling. Tom. Tom. I'm, I apologize. Tom. That's right. Thank you. Thank for you being very here. much. Uh, again, I'm Tom Hofling, Equal Protection for Posterity, and I drove a thousand miles to be here to tell you that I support this bill. Why, you might ask? Um, because what you do here in Texas affects the whole country. It was bad Texas legislating that gave us Roe v. Wade in the first place. The 1961 ta uh, Texas statute that was cited in Roe uh, failed to provide equal protection to the unborn child. Uh, jail time for the, aboli or the abortionist was only two to five years, and the mother who hired the hitman to murder her child was let completely off the hook. That's why the Roe court used this statute to claim that the unborn child is not human. If Texas won't treat babies as human, why should the courts do so? That's exactly what Blackman argued in Roe, in fact. But you didn't swear an oath to obey judges. We don't live in a judicial oligarchy. We live in a constitutional representative republic. The folks in this room should know that better than anybody. You swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution, a Constitution that in the 14th Amendment absolutely requires every state in the Union to provide equal protection for every person. It's not optional. Uh, the ultimate stated purpose of our Constitution is to secure the blessings of liberty to posterity. Our founders put our rights on the same plane as their own. How can we do any less for our posterity, our children, our grandchildren? Look, look around this room. You have to be very hard-hearted to ignore what's going on in this room. The moral power that is being shown in this room is remarkable today. I've been in politics for 30 years, and this is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. Uh, you have to be less than a patriot to ignore the constitutional arguments against allowing this holocaust, this genocide, to continue. Things are changing. Look, look. This is Texas. These are Texas Republicans. You know, look, I hope you do the right thing on a moral basis, on a constitutional basis, but if nothing else, do it on the basis of your own self-interest. You're going to be buried by abolitionism, pro-lifeism, regulationism is dead. Okay, you're seeing the death of regulationism in this room right now. That's what you're seeing. You. So I, I urge you, pay no attention to the court, pay no attention to your colleagues, vote to uphold your sacred oath that you made to God and not to anybody else and provide equal protection for every person. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. It looks like you're from Iowa, so thank you for making that uh, drive. Uh, any questions? Thank you. Any questions? No. Thank you all very much for being here. Uh,